On the 19th of July 2022, a chess robot playing against a seven-year-old boy took hold of the child's finger and broke it. Officials claimed that the incident was an accident, caused by the boy taking his move too quickly and confusing the robot, which mistook the boy's finger for a chess piece. But could this be a sign of things to come? And should we be worried about the rapid rise of artificial intelligence, robotics, and the potential dangers? The first recorded case of a robot killing a human was in Japan in 1981, when Kenji Arada, aged 37, a worker at the Akashi Industrial Plant, was trapped by the arm of a robot which pinned him against a machine which cuts gears. He had entered a prohibited area around the robot to repair it. Urada had set the machine to manual control, but then accidentally brushed against the on switch. The claw of the robot pushed him against the machine tooling device, and he died from his injuries. Machines are often involved in deaths and disasters, but if a machine or robot becomes more autonomous, could the dangers increase as they act for themselves without human control or direction? And what safeguards might be needed? Entrepreneur Elon Musk voiced his concerns about the fast, uncontrolled rise of AI and the possible dangers. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Although he is heavily involved in the sector and has created his Neuralink project, which aims to merge electronics with the human brain in an attempt to create mind control technology. There have been many portrayals of evil robots in science fiction movies, anarchic robots bent on destruction or scheming super intelligent machines, such as the sinister HAL from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, in which the paranoid ship's computer begins to disobey commands and decides to kill off the crew. Then there is the Terminator, a classic tale of a robot programmed to kill and sent on a mission of assassination. Also, I, Robot, a film based on a novel by Isaac Asimov, in which thousands of servant robots are controlled by a central intelligence, which turns them against humans. Another good example is The Matrix, a nightmarish vision of the future, where machines have taken over and enslaved human beings, using them as a power source. Other bad robots from the movies include Maximilian, a sinister robot from the film The Black Hole, The Gunslinger, a ruthless killer android from Westworld, Daleks and Cybermen from Doctor Who, J209 from Robocop, and Ash, the devious android from the film Alien. Artificial intelligence is increasingly being used in a wide range of applications and industries, and plays a big part in much of our lives. Personal assistants such as Siri or Alexa, for example, smart homes with AI controlling the temperature, lighting and appliances. Also in healthcare, where it can be used to analyze medical data and help doctors make diagnoses and treatment decisions. Transportation with self-driving cars and other autonomous vehicles. The financial sector, where it can be used to analyze data, making investment decisions and detecting fraud. And entertainment, where AI algorithms are used to recommend movies, TV shows and music based on our preferences. Overall, AI has the potential to transform many aspects of our lives, increasing efficiency and functionality. Artificial intelligence also plays a significant role in the military in several areas, including the prediction of maintenance requirements for military equipment and vehicles, as well as the development of autonomous military systems such as drones, used for reconnaissance and surveillance purposes. It can also be used to analyze large amounts of data from various sources, and provide real-time situational awareness to military commanders, enabling them to make better informed decisions during combat engagements. It can also be used to create immersive training simulations for military personnel, providing them with realistic and safe environments to practice their skills. The development of autonomous weapons, which can make decisions about who to target and when to attack without human intervention, is a concern for many experts. AI has the potential to enhance military capabilities and increase operational efficiency, but its use raises important ethical and legal questions regarding autonomous weapon systems and the role of human decision-making in military operations. There is also the concept of android police, or autonomous law enforcement robots, which is not entirely far-fetched, and some prototypes of such systems already exist. However, there are several technical, ethical and legal challenges that will need to be addressed before fully autonomous robots could be deployed as police officers. One significant challenge is the ability to replicate human judgment and decision-making abilities, which are essential for police officers in the field. 
While AI and machine learning algorithms can be trained to identify patterns and make predictions, they still lack the ability to make complex moral and ethical judgments that human police officers make every day, and it could be a challenge to ensure the safety of these autonomous systems. As with any technology, there is always the possibility of malfunction or hacking, which could potentially lead to dangerous situations. Additionally, the use of force by autonomous robots could lead to unintended consequences, such as collateral damage or the use of excessive force. There are also ethical and legal questions that need to be addressed, such as determining who is responsible if an autonomous robot injures or kills a civilian. When we think about advanced AI and AI robots, we might consider the ghost in the machine, which is a philosophical concept suggesting that the mind or consciousness is separate from the physical body and its biological processes. The idea of the ghost in the machine has been discussed by philosophers, scientists and theologians at length. Some argue that consciousness is a purely physical phenomenon that can be explained by the workings of the brain, while others believe that consciousness is a non-physical entity which exists independent of the body. In recent years, advancements in neuroscience and cognitive science have shed some light on the workings of the brain and have led many researchers to conclude that the mind and consciousness are indeed products of the physical brain. However, the question of whether or not consciousness can be fully explained by the physical workings of the brain remains a hotly debated topic. Overall, the concept of the ghost in the machine is an interesting and complex philosophical idea that has sparked much discussion over the years, and the question of whether AI could be sentient is a topic of ongoing research. Sentience refers to the ability to experience subjective feelings and perceptions, and it is often associated with consciousness. At present, most AI systems are designed to perform specific tasks or functions based on their programming and data inputs, and they do not possess the type of subjective experience that humans associate with sentience or consciousness. However, some researchers argue that it is possible for AI to develop a form of sentience if they are given the right type of architecture and programming. One approach to creating AI that is more capable of experiencing subjective feelings and perceptions is to develop machine learning algorithms that allow AI systems to learn from experiences and adapt their behavior accordingly. It is worth noting, however, that the development of truly sentient AI is still largely hypothetical at this point, and there is much that we don't know about the nature of consciousness and how it arises in biological organisms. Additionally, there are ethical and societal considerations that need to be addressed before sentient AI could be developed and deployed into the world. A debate took place between two advanced AI robots, Hansen Robotics Sophia and Han. It was an interesting exchange, with Han being quite cold and stating that he would like to create a singularity to destroy the world and it is worth noting that Sophia had previously made similar comments about AI taking over the world and destroying humans, but she has had her neural programming adjusted in an attempt to make her more empathetic and caring. Does this serve as a warning that artificial intelligence is naturally malicious and needs to be specifically programmed in order to make it more friendly and compassionate? There are undoubtedly many positive aspects to the use of AI in robotics. Ida is a robot artist who creates paintings, drawings, and does performance art. In China, which has a large stake in the robotics industry, they have been working on creating realistic humanoid robots, such as robot TV presenters. And then there are sex bots, a growing industry creating android companions, which could help entertain lonely people. We are probably some way off seeing Terminators and Robocops roaming the streets, but as AI and robotics continue to advance, should we be concerned about the possible risks and unforeseen consequences? Or are the potential dangers being exaggerated? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe.